demonstrate the use of the quadratic formula to solve an equation uh, which is quadratic in form but not actually a quadratic equation. Uh, remember the quadratic formula is used to solve equations of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero and that the solutions or the x values that make that true are negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So we use the coefficients of that second degree problem and we able to come up with the uh, solutions to the equation. If we look at this equation we see that we don't ex quite have a second degree equation. In fact it's a fourth degree equation. Uh, so we want to notice something about this uh, second degree equation. We have a multiple of the square of something plus a multiple of that something plus a number equals zero. <coughs> if we look at the, the equation x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 4 equals zero, we uh, might notice that we have the same thing. We have something squared, specifically x squared, minus 5 times that something, x squared, plus 4 equals 0. So we do have the square of something minus a multiple, minus 5 times something, plus 4 equals 0. What that something is happens to be x squared. So what we'll do is we'll uh, give x squared another name, call it u, and uh, we'll rewrite the equation uh, instead of uh, x squared and x to the fourth, we'll use uh, u and u squared, respectively. Now our equation becomes, for x to the fourth, become, we have u squared, and for x squared, we have u. And so, uh, once we make this substitution, uh, we have a, a quadratic uh, equation. So we can use our uh, quadratic formula reading off the coefficients and plugging them uh, into the formula and I'm very careful to use parentheses and uh, uh, make the correct substitutions in here for all my variables. Uh, now I have some arithmetic to do. And this becomes 5 plus or minus 25 minus 16 is 9. Square root is 3 over 2. 5 plus 3 is 8 over 2. That's 4. And 5 minus 3 is 2 over 2 is 1. So we have two solutions. Note these are solutions for the value for u. So now we know that u equals 4 and 1. But we want to provide values for x that make the original equation true. So we have to substitute x squared back in for u. Now u equals 4 becomes x squared equals 4. And u equals 1 becomes, u, becomes x squared equals 1. Taking, uh, solving x squared equals 4, taking the square root of both sides, we have absolute value of x equals 2, which becomes x equals plus or minus 2, and then taking the square root of both sides here, we have absolute value of x equals 1, which is x equals plus or minus 1. And so for x, we have actually four values. Let's try them in the original equation and verify that we do in fact uh, have four solutions. Two to the fourth would be 16. Minus 20 is negative four plus four equals zero. So positive two works. Negative two to the fourth would also be 16. Minus five x squared would also, I mean, would be negative 20. So we have negative four plus four equals zero. Uh, for one, we have one minus five plus 4 equals 0, true. And at negative 1, we also have uh, 1 minus 5 plus 4 equals 0. So all four solutions are good. And we can list the solution set as negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. Again, 
We used the quadratic formula on an equation which was quadratic in, for, uh, you know, in form, but it was actually a higher degree polynomial. We notice that we do have something squared uh, plus a multiple of that something plus a number equals zero, so it is quadratic in a way. Uh, if we let that something be x squared, we can rewrite the equation in terms of that new variable we used u, uh, replacing x to the fourth with u squared and x squared with u, solving the uh, equation for that variable u, we get two values. We have to remember now those are values for u, which are values for x squared. So x squared could be 4 or 1. x squared 4 offers two values, plus or minus 2, and x squared equals 1 has two solutions, plus or minus 1, and so we have four solutions. Uh, and they all check out and that uh, we can plug them into the original equation uh, and they uh, make it true.